involves a recording artist, Pooh Shiesty, except unlike this clip, what happened here was no music video. The footage shows a McLaren sports car, Mercedes Maybach and another Mercedes pull into this East Bay Harbor Drive condo parking lot. Men from the vehicles eventually get out and meet, and then this. Hey man, stay safe, we're out here, we already know what's going on. We gotta talk about the situation with Pooh Shiesty, where he got sentenced to 63 months in prison, courtesy of, with a firearm charge, basically, in Florida, man. We're gonna get right into it, but before we do, I'm gonna need y'all to like, comment, subscribe, and let's run this up. So, I don't know if y'all remember back in January, but that's when Pooh Shiesty initially pled guilty for one charge, basically, associated with the situation that happened in Bow Harbor, where the famous situation where he was on camera in a McLaren with forty thousand dollars worth of cash, and he basically got caught on camera. They said that he shot someone in the butt, but we don't, we can't really even tell. Like when you look at the video of it happening, like it's just a whole bunch of commotion, and they were basically arguing in court. It didn't make sense for him to like be the one robbing someone when he already had forty thousand dollars of cash in a Louis duffel bag, but obviously they weren't believing that and he went took the out for that one he was facing up to eight years so this is actually the best case scenario i would say because he's only going to have to serve 63 months hopefully some time that he already served is included just a minute because he's been in jail since last summer so this whole situation is crazy and if i'm not mistaken he's still facing that one charge that he had with shooting a security guard in miami also so it's safe to say that Pooh Shice is actually going to be gone for a while. I mean, maybe he'll be able to come back and get past this whole situation. But it's like, bro, he's probably going to be ending up. I wouldn't be surprised if the other. I wonder if he's going to serve the other thing concurrently. But like, if not, he could be seen up to like a decade in jail. And I really feel like five years, if he has enough material, like he can end up coming back and doing well. As long as this other case that happens doesn't end up fucking him up, I feel like he should be okay. But at the certain time, it already this whole situation happened in Miami. So then that other situation happened in Miami. So maybe they're not going to be as lenient because of the whole situation that happened and being in the same city and everything. Like, it's, bruh, he just needs to move different. And this is a whole conversation that like a lot of the rap world needs to hear like niggas be acting so like ignorant just doing whatever acting like this shit is red dead redemption going out gta shit shooting fucking bouncers shooting people in broad daylight man like if you're gonna do some shit you might as well be on some asap rocky timing and shoot someone like in the dark or whatever allegedly but man it's down bad for him hopefully he's able to keep his music going because at this rate i don't know if he really saw his material that he had if not maybe he'll be able to keep going but it's going to be interesting to see what the fuck happens with this whole career and everything man but i don't know let me know what y'all think in the comments you think he deserved this time or you think that this shit was just like freak accident he was just at the wrong place wrong time real stay safe shit you already know man like comment subscribe yes sir run that up peace